anytime they use the word nuclear, I'm like, tell me what, what exactly is going on here? Like, I want to know what reactions are occurring. You know, treat me like a PhD chemist. I want to know the free energy microchips that people are producing, like Sonny White, Garrett Modell out of University of Colorado, Paul Thibodeau, he's doing like a thermodynamic situation. The best I think these types of devices will do is they'll power, power our phones, which I mean, that's no small feat, but that's not powering a city, right? That's not powering in a data center. The other thing is fusion. Fusion, I believe, is a tap into zero point energy. All the atoms, remember, we take that atom, we shoot it with some energy and that makes the electron break off. Okay, well, that electron and that now positively charged ion, they want to come back together because positive and negatives attract. That zero point energy is all around us all the time. It's just in an equilibrium. It's just come together and it's neutralized out. So what is the plasma doing? The plasma is directly interacting with the zero point energy because once you've created that separation of charge, that's what energy is. How are these systems producing over unity? It's not just a matter of the chemistry of the hydrogen or whatever they're doing, splitting and pulling that excess energy out. It's tapping into a reservoir that's out there permanently. You get more and more efficient at tapping into that reservoir. That's how you're getting your coefficient of performance to go from the goals we're trying to get now is five. That means five times more energy out than we're getting in. I think that things like a neutronic fusion that are super efficient, they're going to get to like a thousand. That's what we're going to use to power cities and submarines and you know things like that.